What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I love my mini PCs, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick video on the top 5 best mini PCs of 2022. Now I'm calling this video Top 5, but we're actually going to be talking about 7 different mini PCs, and really 3 of them kind of fall in the same category. So I'm going to kind of lump those together, but for every PC we talk about in this video I have done a review on, and I'll leave a link to the review in the description below. And one more thing before we get started here, I did want to kind of cap out the price at $500. Now if you're interested in seeing a video with more expensive mini PCs, just more powerful stuff, let me know in the comments below. But with everything you're going to see in this video, it's going to range from $40 up to $500. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start at number 5 and work our way down to number 1, which I think is one of the best mini PCs on the market right now in 2022. But coming in at number 5, we're going to be talking about three different PCs here. These are small form factor office PCs that you can pick up used on eBay, Amazon, and other sites like that. And there's three main companies that put out PCs like this. We've got HP, Dell, and Lenovo. And these are great for emulation, light indie gaming, and some of the more expensive ones with the 7th generation i5s can do some pretty decent 720p gaming. It's going to be some older stuff, you're not going to run any newer AAA titles, but on most of these systems, with a 6th generation i5 and up, you can do up to PS2 emulation with this, and you can choose from several different operating systems. You've got Windows, Linux, and I've seen some people install Mac OS. When it comes to these older Office PCs, I personally like running something like Botocera, very similar to RetroPie. It's just a Linux-based emulation front end, and it does really well on each one of these. So the first one out of these three I would recommend would be something like the Lenovo M92P. It is getting a bit older with that fourth generation Intel i5, but these go anywhere from $40 to $90 on eBay and Amazon. They're readily available and you can get your hands on these really easily. They're great for video playback up to 1440p. Indie gaming works really well on these along with cloud gaming. I would definitely use Ethernet for cloud gaming, but if you want to do GeForce Now, xCloud, or even Stadia, it's going to work out just fine. Now this will handle some PS2 games, but I wouldn't recommend one with a 4th generation i5 or i7 specifically for PS2 because you will need a little more power. But if you want to do some GameCube and anything under that, you're going to have a great time with this 4th generation i5 in the Lenovo M92P. Another one that's been coming down in price recently is the HP Elite Desk 705G4. You can pick these up with Ryzen 5 2000 or 3000 series APUs. Great for 720p gaming, indie gaming, cloud gaming. It'll handle PS2, Wii, GameCube, and anything below that. But prices can be a bit all over the place when it comes to these 705s. I've seen them going for $70 up to $200. But when it comes to these small form factor office PCs, one of my favorites is the Dell Optiplex 3050. They range anywhere from $65 up to $130. You can pick them up with 6th or 7th gen Intel i5s or i7 CPUs. It doesn't handle PC gaming like the HP Elite Desk, but older PC games will run fine along with indie gaming and cloud gaming. But this does better emulation than that Ryzen chip, mainly because of the OpenGL performance. PS2, 3DS, Wii, GameCube, and anything below that will run fine on this. Whether you use the 6th gen i5 or up to the 7th gen i7, you'll have a really good time with emulation on this thing. And like I mentioned, every PC I'm going to be talking about I have done a video on. Links for those are in the description. So that's it for the first section here in those small form factor office PCs. If you don't mind buying used and you know what you're doing, you can get out with a really good deal no matter which one of these you choose. But if you're looking for something new, a bit smaller, and pulls a little less energy, then I would recommend the new M6 Mini PC. Now these range anywhere from $120 up to $220 depending on the RAM and storage configuration. But as you can see, this thing is absolutely tiny. It does have an actively cooled CPU, so there is a fan in here. It's not the most powerful mini PC on the market, and when it comes to emulation, you're basically good up to GameCube with this, but it doesn't pull more than 15 watts from the wall and takes up no space at all, as you can see. If you want to use this as an everyday desktop for web browsing, email checking, document editing, we do have more than enough power. It'll also handle 4K video playback really well. But with the M6, you get the Intel Celeron N5105. It's only four cores with a turbo up to 2.9. You can pick this up with 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I would highly recommend picking up the 16 gigabyte version because that will be running in dual channel. It's just going to give you a little better GPU performance. 
These usually come with 128 gigabytes of internal storage, but you can also add a one terabyte drive to this unit. Great for indie gaming and cloud gaming. It does have Wi-Fi 6 and 2.5 gigabit ethernet built in. These will run Windows 10, Windows 11, or Linux. But I'd say the main draws to this mini PC here are the form factor itself, very small, I mean not much bigger than a cell phone, and power consumption. It'll only pull up to 15 watts from the wall, and you could run this on battery power if you needed to. It runs on 12 volts. But if you don't mind having a little bit of a larger form factor, then another one I could recommend coming in at number three is the Aerofera 2. They also make the 2 Pro. It's still a very small PC. It is actively cooled, so there's a fan in here. Runs on 12 volts. It's got a full aluminum chassis. You can get this with 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, and even the 8 gigabyte model is running in dual channel. It's got a single HDMI out, VGA. Got a few USB 3.0 ports on here, but we basically have the same specs as the M6 because this is using that Celeron N5105. Four cores up to 2.9 gigahertz. The one that I reviewed had 8 gigabytes of LPDDR4 running at 2,933 megahertz, and it was in dual channel, so it did help out with that Intel UHD GPU. They usually come with a 128 gigabyte M.2 SSD, but this is easily upgradable. Only AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2, but we do have gigabit Ethernet, and it runs Windows 10 or Windows 11. Price on these is around $150 with the coupon they always have on Amazon, and I think this is a great little retro gaming machine. Again, just like the M6, it'll handle indie gaming just fine, cloud gaming, and up to GameCube. Anything under GameCube on these N5105s does run really well. N64, Dreamcast, PSP, even upscaled. So those were two of the newer mini PCs with a lower price tag that I wanted to mention. But the next two we're going to take a look at do have a higher price point, but for good reason, because they are putting down some really good power. So coming in at number two is the B-Link SER4. So this is actually a great little mini PC. You can install Linux on it. It does run really well. You can get this with up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. We've got plenty of I.O. It does come with AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.2. Love the design here, super small form factor. I think it's got a really nice look to it. Dual HDMI on the rear. We also have USB Type-C video out on the front. RAM and storage can be easily upgraded, whether you just want to swap out that M.2 drive or add a 2.5 inch drive, it's really up to you. But when it comes to the specs, this is using a Ryzen 7 4800U. It's a mobile CPU, but you can run this up to 45 watts in this mini PC. Eight cores, 16 threads. We've got a max boost up to 4.2. Up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 running at 3200 megahertz, but the lower end model comes with 16, and these are priced right at 499, but you can find coupons for Amazon and their own website if you do a little bit of searching online. When it comes to overall performance, you're not going to have any problems at all using this as your everyday PC. Web browsing, 4K video playback, and up to three displays on this unit. You can do some video editing on this, photo editing. It'll basically handle anything you want to throw at it that you use in your everyday life. And when it comes to gaming, obviously this is going to handle cloud gaming and indie gaming like a champ, but this will also run some AAA games at a really good frame rate. Really depends on the game, but anywhere from 720p up to 1080, I've always been a big fan of the 4800U, especially when we can run it at a higher wattage. And for emulation, it even handles up to PS3. You can do some Switch emulation on this too, if you're into that. So it's a very powerful small form factor PC, but it is coming in with a higher price tag. So I do think that this is a great little small form factor PC, but number one on the list has been my favorite mini PC of 2022, and that's the Menace Forum B550. So this thing is actually pretty crazy. You can pick up a bare bones model for 319, or you can pick up the 4700G version for 499, and the 5700G version is going to come in a little more. But we're just going to focus on that 5700G version because of that price tag isn't exceeding $500. Comes with an awesome little carrying case, and by itself, with the 4700G, you're going to get some really great AAA gaming out of the way, 720 up to 1080, depending on what game you're running. It powers through emulation like a much larger PC, and that's really because we've got a desktop APU in this as opposed to a mobile APU or a mobile CPU like we saw with most of the other mini PCs in this series. But what makes this special is it actually comes with an eGPU dock. 
This is pretty crazy for a mini PC, but you will need to add your own power supply and GPU, but you can turn this into a full-fledged 4K gaming desktop depending on what video card you use in the included dock. So with the 4700G version, you're going to get 8 cores, 16 threads, you can do up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 running at 3200MHz in this unit, plenty of I.O. on the rear as you can see here, audio in, audio out, USB Type-C which does support video out, two full-size HDMI ports, a display port, we've got 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. But like I mentioned, what makes this mini PC so cool is the addition of that eGPU dock. Now with the iGPU built in with that 4700G, you can do a lot of the AAA stuff at 720p and really game on it. I mean, you can have a good time with it. Or connect something like an RTX 3080 and turn it into a 4K gaming monster. All of your favorite new AAA games, 4K ultra settings on this thing, and I think it looks really cool when it's set up properly. So yeah, that's my top five best list for 2022, at least when it comes to the $500 and under mini PC market. If you're interested in seeing a video like this with more expensive, more powerful mini PCs, just let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see reviews on any of these units, links to those videos are in the description. I'm also going to leave links to where you can buy any of these that I mentioned. And if you've picked up a mini PC in 2022 for under $500, let me know what it is and what you like about it or what you don't like about it in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.